couple weeks into the season, going into the, the third weekend series, how do you feel about where you guys stand, some of the things you've learned about yourselves or, or still kind of figuring out? Yeah, uh, I mean, obviously we're still learning. Um, you know, we're still trying to figure out, you know, what we are as a team and our identity as a team. I think we're you know, getting really close uh, to finally you know, figuring it out. I mean, that's, that's what it's going to take. That's why it's such a long season. You know, we're going to figure out you know, what we do good, what we don't do good, what we need to get better at. Um, and that's going to be through the course of the entire season. I mean, that's with any team, you know, no matter who you have on the team. So, you know, we've been playing really good lately. Um, you know, we've been putting together the, the runs and the, the pitching staff has been doing you know awesome job of uh, keeping the runs, you know, the runs down. And, and you know, we're just going out there and we're, you know, we're continuing to work hard, continuing to do the things that we did all through the fall and the spring, not forgetting those things and just, you know, letting it continue on, um, you know, as we go game by game. For some of the guys that have, have had some early hiccups, whether um, like Austin after the Lamar game particularly or uh, or like Trey in some spots where he, he kind of gets moved around and shuffled back to the bench, do, do some of y'all that have been around a little bit longer, have y'all had real particular advice to them? Is it a lot of the stuff you were just saying or what, it, what do you kind of yeah. tell those guys? I mean, we've all gone through I mean, it's baseball. You, if, if, if someone tells you that they haven't, they're lying. And it's a game of baseball. It's how it is. With those guys and with those situations, it's it's just kind of you know you just make sure you stay behind them and you uh, you make sure you <clears throat> excuse me keep giving them the positive support that they need because in the end that's all you really need because you're here for a reason and uh, you were in that game for a reason so you you have what it takes it's just a matter of you trusting it having that confidence and and understanding that you know every time you go out on that mound or every time you step in that box you're not going to do as well as you want to every single time I mean that's the game of baseball it's how it is and you know the quicker you understand that and the quicker you know how to you know figure out those things and figure out how to get yourself you know through those things as quick as possible and understand your mentality and how your mind works then you know that, that's what makes you into a great baseball player is, you know the more consistent you can be and when you get into those situations because you're going to get into them it's who, who's going to get out of it the quickest and who's going to diminish them as much as possible and, and it just goes back to knowing yourself, knowing your, you know, the, your mind and how it works, and, and just getting through that. So it's just giving them the positive support and letting them know that, you know, it's not the last time you're going to struggle. Yeah. And, and just to make sure that they have that positive support, you just tap them on the button, tell them to get out there and do it again. And they've, I mean, they've shown some positives. Some of the, you know, a freshman in, in Duplan is batting really well, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Have any of the, the guys in terms of how well they've done at times surprised surprised you at all in terms of being ahead of any schedule that you would have expected for them? No, not at all. Because you know, coming in in the fall, um, obviously we had some you know, skepticism and, and trying to you know understand you know what these guys are going to bring to the table with this new class in that sense. And, and after I want to say like two weeks of the fall, you 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 were like you know you sat down and you're like, man, these guys can really play. And you know as we went through the fall, and, and you're facing the best pitching staff and one of the best pitching staffs in the country. So, I mean, when you go out there and you have these guys that go out there and do that through the fall against you know Lang Poche and Riley Smith and all those guys, you know, and then to have that success and then to come back in the spring and do the same thing and then to have it roll into the spring now and. And like you said, seeing those guys have that success now, it's no surprise in any one of us because we knew that they had it. Every single one of those guys can play. And, I mean, we've had quite a few games where a lot, you know, pretty much everybody on the team has you know, contributed in some type of way to, you know, to a huge team win. So it's no surprise to us, and we know that those guys can compete and they're going to continue to get better as the season goes on. Do you know much specifically at this point about Fordham or expectations of what they're going to bring down here, or is it more just about y'all? No, no, I mean, we, we know we know what they're going to bring to the table. They're a great ball club. Um, we, uh, you know, we're focusing on Friday night and we know that we're going to get a great arm on Friday. Um, we know that uh, you know, he's a great pitcher, he's a consistent pitcher, um, you know, he's highly touted, everybody knows who he is. So you know, we're focused on Friday and then the Friday's game and that's it. And We know what we have on our plate and we know that we have a great ball club and a great arm that we're going to have to face and you know, we're going to be ready.